Okay, so good morning, guys. I'm so excited for this intensive training. Um, it's going to be super useful. Can you guys see my screen? Can I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up, awesome, okay. <clears throat> if you guys do have any questions, oh, wait, hold on, one more person's hopping on. If you guys have any questions, um, just write it in the chat box. I'm not gonna, like, I can't see you guys, so if you, like, raise your hand or anything, all I can see is my screen, um, so just let me know. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you for hopping on this training because it means that you take your business seriously. It means that you want to run an ethical business. You want to be informed. Like you want to actually make an income and make an impact using this business as a catalyst. So thank you for taking time out of your day, out of your week. I know a lot of you guys plans around this, so I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep it within the three hour frame. I don't think we're going to run over. So I'm excited for that. What's the chat? Yes, I'm going to upload the PowerPoint afterwards. Um, feel free to take notes. That's actually my next point. Feel free to take notes, but I will be uploading it um, later on the PowerPoint on the Google Drive. Okay, so first things first, our agenda. We're gonna go over who is Monate. We're gonna go over the science. And then honestly, those are like the two chunkiest portions of the PowerPoint. So then we're gonna take a break. And then really quickly, I'm gonna give some social media tips, some organization hacks, back office training, and then daily actions that you can take on the road to SED. Okay, so starting out with who is Monate. We are modern nature. That is modern technology coupled with naturally based products. Um, Monate kind of came about because they realized that there were a ton of vegan products, but none that could actually perform. So that's where they decided to bring in the, te the technology and our scientific advisory board. So our doors were opened in the United States, October, 2014. So we are an American based company. We are technically in three industries, the direct sales, the hair care, and the skincare industry. We are the only anti-aging hair care company in the direct sales industry. Um, to give you guys some perspective, the direct selling industry is worth $183 billion. $183 billion in direct sales. E-commerce is the way, guys. Um, and this is growing 3 to 4% annually. Then the hair care industry is actually worth around 70 to $90 billion, and that's growing 3 to 5% annually as well. And then the e-commerce industry, business, fully virtual, online, digitized, is worth $2.86 trillion dollars 2.86 trillion dollars is the e-commerce industry and it's growing 18 percent annually so when we tell people to join now we're talking about today because we're only five years old in the eyes of like the world that is a baby we are a baby baby company and the fact that we're debt free the fact that we're already a bill worth a billion dollars and that we're in the right industries we're in billion and trillion dollar industries the time is now before this is no longer ground level. So talking about this on your story repetitively is really important to set the urgency for people. You know, it's not like, oh, I need you to join this month because I need to hit my rank. It's like, no, you need to join this month because a year from now, we're no longer going to be ground level. And I want you to be making millions with me. Um, so we are family owned. I'm going to go into that a little bit later. And we are debt free aka they can pay us more our compensation plan does not compare to any other compensation plan for direct sales and i'm gonna go through that and like it's crazy guys like we are blessed um so for every dollar that our company makes they pay out 50 cents in com commission 
for every dollar made 50 cents is paid out in commissions to us and they can afford to do that because there is no overhead there is no marketing there's no advertising they're not paying all these actors to come and you know film a commercial that's super expensive with the set and the production no they just produce products and pay out commissions produce products pay out commissions so it's very easy for them to manage their money um, we did reach five countries within five years. So we launched in the United States. And then in our second year, we brought in Canada. Our third year, we brought in the UK. And then the, our fifth year, we launched in Ireland and Poland. So signs of expansion is a great, or expansion is a great sign of growth and longevity within a company. So the fact that we're expanding and not staying stagnant shows that there's so much growth and that this is ground level, but not for long. It is going to explode. So all of our products are produced and manufactured in America. That is huge, 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 especially with the coronavirus. We're not relying on China for our bottles. We're not relying on them for our ingredients, not our machinery, nothing. Everything is in the United States, more specifically in Miami. Um, we sell a consumable and essential product. So what does that mean? First of all, it means that during a pandemic, you're not going to go out of business because it is an essential product, an essential business. And it's something that everyone uses and everyone needs. It's something that people consume and they're going to need more of. And it's not a negotiable. Like that's like, like gas, like gas for your car tank is a consumable product that everyone needs. So when like it sounds so simple like yes it's just shampoo that's because it is that simple it's just shampoo everyone needs it it's not a big deal we could be selling pencils you know for all we care and it's nice too whoops it's nice too because the products are delivered right to your doorstep so again amidst the coronavirus that is super important there's no or a very minimal contact with your products it goes directly from the warehouse to your doorstep they're uh, packaged fresh almost daily, honestly, in the production lines. So really good stuff here. Then let's go into the family um, of Monet. So from left to right, this is Javi. And this is his girlfriend, Nathalie. This is Lou. She's our CEO of Co Culture and Gratitude. This is uh, Sir sorry not sir senor luis and senor luis is um our essential founder he's the father of this whole family this is luisana his daughter this is carolina who is the wife to ray and ray is luis's son and he is our ceo he is the face of our company we call ray senor luis and mac mcmullen who is our president so we have this is our founder this is our ceo and then our president is Stuart McMullen. Them three, we call them our trinity, our trilogy. They are our big three, um, our president, our CEO, and our founder. So Senor Luis was, the whole family is Venezuelan. They were, Senor Luis was actually invited to an all-female direct sales company, which he joined and turned out to be wildly, success, uh, wildly successful. And so much so that he decided to open his own business. But this was a traditional brick and mortar business. It had a storefront. Um, he relied on clients coming in and out of the store and un unfortunately it failed. Um, so he decided to go back to the direct selling industry. Um, in 2001, Ray and Carolina had already moved from uh, Venezuela to, the, to Miami. They were broke. I remember reading an Instagram post that she posted one time and I almost cried. They came with literally $500. They lived, I wanna say for six months, under the staircase of one of their friend's house. So like they put an air mattress under the staircase and that's where they lived for six months. When they came to this country, they were broke, broke, broke. And Senor Luis asked Ray to start a direct sales company with him from scratch um, in Venezuela. So they came back to Venezuela, started this business from scratch. They were wildly successful and they had to leave it all behind because of the corruption that their country faced. So when they came back to the United States, they were starting from ground zero. They had absolutely nothing. And Ray was reading an article about how hair, how hair ages. And that's when his light bulb went off and Monate was born. They said, okay, we need vegan anti-aging hair care 
that actually is going to perform, that's actually going to do what it promises it says it's going to do. So they interviewed a lot of people to help them get used to, you know, the culture of the United States and how businesses were run. But no one clicked until they found Stuart McMillan and the rest was history. They are family. They say that they do not have any employees. Everyone is family. Um, and because of the struggles that they face, they want to bring the American dream to everyone. Like that is seriously their mission. Guys, I've met them multiple times. Like what I'm an average Joe. What CEO and founders are going to talk to the people that are at the bottom, you know? So I've met Carolina. She follows me. Her and I DM all the time. I know Ray. I know Senor Luis. I know Lou. You know, they all follow me. So it's like, they're really that personable. Like they truly do view you as family. Um, so it's really mind blowing to me. And honestly, an example is our commission checks being paid out early. Like they were like, we know that every day counts that you guys are just went from being a multiple income household to probably a single income household, considering 17 million Americans have been laid off the last three weeks. So they release their commission checks early. That is just one example of how they treat us like family that often gets taken for granted. So now our culture, Monet, our values are very clear. It's family, love, community, gratitude, and culture. Our philosophy is very simple. We are successful when we help others be successful. We are happy when we help others be happy. So family, of course, we're a family owned business, family run. They also love to have the support of your family. You know, um, when I was at Monations and they were calling up the million dollar club earners, they were telling all their spouses to come up on stage with them, their children. So they really want the support of your family. They want the involvement of your family. This isn't something to hide. You know, this is something to shout from the rooftops. Um, and it's inclusive for everyone. You know, your grandma can use it, your dad, your dog, your niece. Like we have products for everyone. So it's that inclusive. Um, kind of going into the family and love. I love this. So when I was at Monations, they had um, breastfeeding pods that were like really nice. Like they pretty much were like study rooms in the library. Like they were that big, but they were pods. Um, and it had like changing tables. It had like a super comfortable couch for you to breastfeed. It had like napkins, diaper or not napkins, like towels, diapers, stuff like that. So they set up all of those in the arena so that mothers who wanted to enhance their business could go to Monations, but still breastfeed. And they also had, um, daycare, uh, daycare arrangements. So like, a like a toddler preschool or whatever. Um, so, you know, they do that on Monations. They do that for our free trips to Cancun, Puerto Rico, um, Las Vegas, Dominican Republic. So they're always trying to include the family and spread love. They also love the community. We build a community where it's collaboration over competition. There is room at the top for everyone. This is not a compensation plan where five people can be making all the money and the rest are just, you know, getting by. No, everyone can make it to the top. So we want a community that is supportive, that is empowered, that collaborates with each other, that celebrates each other. Um, and that's kind of the culture we want to create. We want a culture where we train each other, we support each other, we're celebrating each other's successes, we're helping each other get to the top. We're also being honest with each other. You know, you guys know me, I'm all about tough love. Like I'm not going to lie to your face and say something that's not true because I want everyone to be the happiest they've ever been, the best they've ever been, the best version, um, you know, and actually successful. So we want a culture of honesty, of vulnerability, of authenticity, and of support and gratitude. Um, Monet starts with changing your hair and it eventually changes your life. And the sooner you believe that, the more you are going to see it. Okay, so gratitude. This here is from Monations. This is Lou Udineta, our CEO of Gratitude and Culture. So essentially, this is kind of just where we focus. You know, we do a lot of work with the Salvation Army, with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Lotus House. Um, and our fo area of focus is opportunity. So we like to give opportunity, you know, job interviews to the homeless, 
Um, even just the fact that like they give the opportunity to anyone to work. Like if you are over the age of 18, whether you have a high school degree, whether you have a college diploma, whether you've been in jail or incarcerated, whatever, like they literally give a job to anyone. And I think that speaks volumes about this company. They also like to focus on education. We're very often donating to schools, visiting schools and doing projects um, and stuff like that. So education is huge um, for our company. We also like to educate just on hygiene and stuff like that. So I know I did that during Thanksgiving. We hosted a Thanksgiving lunch and we did, we had a whole tent um, like educating them on hygiene. Um, we also did a tent where they could get like a primary care physician checkup. So they were doing, you know, drawing blood, taking their blood pressure. Um, what else were they were doing? It feels like so long ago, but it was amazing. They had a whole medical tent full of FIU medical students. So the medical students in our local college in Miami, they were, which we have one of the best medical schools too, not going to lie. Um, that was who was running the tent and they were giving free checkups to everyone. They were checking their teeth, checking their blood pressure, everything. It was really, really heartwarming to see. Um, of course, self-care. So you guys may have noticed we went to Big Brothers, Big Sisters a couple of months ago, or not even months, a couple of weeks ago. And we did makeovers and self-care um, like spa day for all the women in the shelters because it was International Women's Day. And we wanted to show them what self-care was like. And honestly, if you guys watch the YouTube video covering the event, it was amazing. Like the homeless women were, you know, just speaking out in so much gratitude. They felt so beautiful that they felt like they had a voice. Like, isn't that crazy? They felt like because they're homeless, they messed up. They don't have a voice. They, um, they don't matter. And once they were done up, they had their hair and their makeup done and they had all these hygiene products. They felt so confident that then they're speaking out in a group in front of an audience, um, you know, declaring their confidence, declaring how they want to change their life, how they want to do more for themselves. So don't underestimate the way that self-care can impact a person's um, mindset and their frame of mind. Um, we also focus on children, of course, because it goes hand in hand with family. So, you know, we don't we have um what was it called the compassion project or operation compassion where we built a bunch of rescue facilities for uh migrant children in colombia venezuela so you know children that are crossing the borders we essentially have a facility for them to enter once they get there that will provide them with clothing um you know re-education food stuff like that so we really focus um our philanthropy on children as well and families as a whole. So, you know, I know that when I was working the Thanksgiving event for gratitude, we were feeding a lot of families. We were um, kind of taking care of the children while the parents could get some time to breathe, do their medical checkups, um, get their hygiene packs and stuff like that. So just a family and children in general, education, self care and providing opportunities to others. Um, and to give you guys a ballpark, this is not an official number. This is what I personally have kept track of from like the infographics we get emailed. In the last 18 months, I would say, um, I would say in the last 18 months, we've donated $2 million in donations, but it is most likely more. I'm lowballing. Um, $2 million in a year and a half, in 18 months in donation so that is absolutely amazing we should be very proud to be partnered with this company and representing them okay okay so what makes monate unique i want everyone to focus on this photo over here monate market partner deserves this is ray udaneta at our monations so this is a picture I took. Okay, they deserve the right tools. So you guys are gonna see this entire training I'm doing. It took me forever to put together, but guess what? All I did was go onto the Monet website or my Market Partner Academy. That's it. Everything that is in this PowerPoint has already been given to you. So the right tools is so important to a, success, a successful business, but also are you using those tools? 
coaching and training. So of course we have so many trainings, not just on the market partner website, but the market partner official Facebook page, the real deal, Facebook page, quarantine bootcamp training road to MMP. We have so many Facebook pages all provide trainings. Um, you deserve to have fun and have a voice guys. That is my favorite. Like this business should be fun. It's just shampoo. Like, it's not a big deal. And it's so fun. The culture that we have within our company, like there's no room to be a Debbie Downer. There's no need to be a negative Nancy. So use your voice. Um, I like to use the example of myself, honestly, that I found my voice with this company. I've always been outgoing, but very shy. So um, right before I joined Monet, I actually created my own Instagram account, Leo Gypsy Queen, just so I could talk about veganism, yoga, sustainability, plant-based diets and stuff like that. And like spirituality. And that was because I didn't feel comfortable doing it on my own platform, my Alexandra Sophia B. And once I joined Monet, I stopped using the Leo Gypsy Queen because I was like, why am I posting about my heart's desires under a pseudonym, under a fake name on a profile when I have all these followers who follow me for me so why don't I just express who I am, sing my song, march to the beat of my drum and share that with others. And it's been so rewarding because not only have I found my voice, but I found a community that relates to me. And that is so unique and authentic. So use your voice, find your voice in this business. That's where the personal development comes into as well. You want trustworthy leadership. That is something that I strive for. I want to be someone that you guys feel comfortable calling feel comfortable texting, feel comfortable venting to, feel comfortable like working with. I want you guys to feel supported. I want you to feel like you have all the resources necessary. I want you guys to know that I am rooting for you, that I am working and busting my butt off for you. Like I, I, um, sorry, I'm admitting some more people into the room. Um, I want you guys to find success. I literally have your goals mapped out before I have my own goals because being a leader has been the most challenging aspect of this business. And that's what I like the most about it. If it's hard, that's great. That means I'm growing. Um, so trustworthy leadership is huge. And you also want to reciprocate that, you know, how are you going to recruit people onto your team? If you're not doing the steps necessary to be a leader, you don't become a leader. Once you have followers, you need to show up as a leader first to get the followers. So build that trust. Um, and we're going to cover how to build that trust later on. Be recognized. So that's another thing of building your own brand. You want to be recognizable, but also um, like recognition from our company. So they, you guys have never been to a trip, but they give ridiculous, ridiculous recognition. Trophies, Cartier watches um certificates big big checks like even just like powerpoint presentations video presentations on people's successes so they love to do recognitions we have the recognition portal which is live 24 7 in real time on your back office um i'm always doing shout outs for top eight pb i always do top eight because you can only take eight people on a tour so I would like to say that like the top eight people are the people who earn going on tours of our warehouse um, and stuff like that. You even get pins and certificates mailed to you when you hit your rank. So it's like, hey, not only do you get a bonus check, but you get the pins, you get the certificates um, and you get to be a part of something bigger than yourself. I mean, look at this community that we've grown, guys. Um, so it's beautiful. And then it's a company that delivers like, guys. When I joined, there were zero products for curly haired girls. Now we have the super nurse, the curl defining cream, the curl refresher spray, the co-wash conditioning cleanse. We even have the advanced hydrating, which was really good before super nurse. So like the fact that they're always innovating, they're always delivering. Um, you, a lot of you guys may not have even been in the business, but your flagship cart used to be so annoying to put together because it made you it made you select an only for you product but if you're selecting a flagship after the 60 days the only for you product is going to change because it's a different month right so it used to be this whole glitchy thing that i literally was putting up with for a year i guess enough people complained about it that they took it out so now it's no longer there so like they're always innovating they're always listening to us whether it's technology or product innovation and then a transparent culture guys 
like I mentioned, like how many people do you know have met the CEO multiple times or interact with them on Instagram and DM them? Like, and that's just me. Think about the directors. The directors have their personal phone number, they're WhatsApping, they're texting. We do, they do Facebook lives almost weekly. So they're weekly addressing you in real time, like in real time on live where you can ask questions. So like one more, tra how more transparent can you get as a company to be honest? especially being in five countries, having like millions of market partners and stuff like that. Um, so that's just based on this figure. And then what else makes us unique? We're risk free guys. We have a 30 day money back guarantee for the products and for the business. That's less and we have less than 1% return rate. So that just goes to show how amazing they are. We have a scientific advisory board. Why? Because we want these products to perform. That is number one, is performance. Um, we don't carry inventory. You know, you don't have to stock up in your closet or stock up in your car, go to the post office. And to you guys, you've been hearing that since you joined. So that may not mean a lot to you, but I'm going to put it into perspective. That's a really, really big deal. I have multiple friends in other MLMs and they have to carry inventory. And guess what? They are not, they don't want to go to the post office right now because of COVID-19. So guess what? They're not making sales. The fact that we don't carry inventory is a huge, huge deal. And it should not be taken for granted. Let me check the chat. Yeah. Love it, Jan. Um, and then no mandated quota. If you work, you get paid. If you don't work, you don't get paid, but you also don't get penalized. Like there are a lot of companies where if you don't sell your quota, you owe them money. What? That makes no sense to me. So if you work, you get paid and you get paid good. If you don't work, you don't get paid. Um, but you're not going to be penalized for it either. Sorry, my phone is always blowing up and I just want to make sure that it's like not someone saying they're trying to get in. Okay. Um, no monthly or hidden fees. So guys, my friend is a part of another MLM. Actually, I have two friends part of other MLMs that are charged monthly, monthly fees just to maintain your active membership. Why? Like why? That's so unnecessary. Um, we have no hidden fees. Um, and then we have a legitimate compensation plan, which I'm going to cover later, but that's important guys. Like our compensation plan is legit. It is the best of the best. And you better scream it loud and proud because when I get, when you're done with this training, you're going to be freaking out of the amount of opportunity that you have in this company. Other things that make us unique is our motor club program and our smart start program. Quality. I'm so excited for this. So, um, Monet products are produced using the highest quality food and pharmaceutical grade botanical extracts, essential oils, vitamins, minerals that they are. They're all ethically sourced and high, high quality. Um, so what high quality means is like they're not industrial grade. So, you know, um, I don't want to say like Kirkland because cost, I love Costco, but like getting CVS brand something versus like the actual brand, like getting Sally Hansen brand bleach. I bleach my arms. So TMI, whatever, getting Sally Hansen bleach versus getting CVS brand bleach. You know, we get the highest quality that there is. Um, which honestly already differentiates us from drugstore products because drugstore products are using industrial grade. So they're using super, super low quality. Um, we also have a small batch manufacturing. So that assures products are consistent. So Ray and our, our whole executive team is always in the warehouse overlooking everything. And we only have one warehouse facility. So that ensures that quality control is top notch. And we love it that way. Like, I'm so, so proud of us. Um, our products are never boiled. This is huge, guys. Pantene, Herbal Essence, that Moroccan Argon Oil one that comes in those cute bottles. All of them boil their products. And what does this mean? When they're not boiling it, 
it assures that the natural health of the vitamins and the botanical extracts are not lost, that the nutrients, the, it, it maintains its nutritional value. Most cosmetics are manufactured in large steam pressur uh, pressurization vats. Um, and so that in itself is what boils the products at high temperatures, which causes them to turn to liquid or cream state, which is great. But the problem is you're losing that nutritional value. So our products are not boiled. Um, you can kind of think about it as um, like vegetables. They say if you steam your vegetables or cook your vegetables over too much, you actually do lose the nutritional value. It's better to eat it frozen or raw or like slightly cooked. Um, and our products are manufactured avoiding the use of heavy chemicals. These ingredients often lead to unwanted skin conditions. Um, we follow the regulations of the FDA plus of the USP, which is the United States Pharmacopoeia um, standards. So we follow the FDA, the USP, and European beauty standards. So super, super clean. Between all three of those, like that is funneling the garbage so much that it's all pure and natural. Um, what else? Oh, we also consult with multiple like pharmaceutic laboratories. Um, and they're essentially our consultants for production to make sure that even our production is sustainable and pure because there can be a lot of contamination from the time that you source the ingredients to the time that you package the ingredients. So that whole timeline in between, we actually do consult with very, very large companies um, that are very reputable and they kind of help us evaluate a very clean process. So science, I'm going to take a really quick break. Can I get like some feedback? How are you guys liking this? Yes, everyone's good. Okay, the science is like my favorite part. Um, so I'm super excited. Okay. I'm sharing my screen again. Okay, so let's talk science. Okay, so why naturally based is better? Plant-based ingredients um, from natural sources is what we have. So botanical extracts, essential oils, vegetal proteins. So like we have the amino acid pro uh, complex, the pea protein is in a lot of our products. That's the vegetal protein it's talking about. Um, so our products are not all natural because we have patented ingredients, which are key to product performance. So that's another thing. We get asked if we're FDA approved. We're not FDA approved because FDA needs to approve something that's natural. Our products, um, like, yes, they're naturally based, but they have some scientific technology, like some cellular performance that makes it unnatural. So that's why we say we're naturally based. We're primarily or predominantly natural. Um, but like, if you have a patented ingredient because it's patented, like you can't patent something from the earth. So if we have patented ingredients, then it's not FDA regulated. However, we follow FDA standards, like I mentioned in the last slide. I can't see your faces, but I'm hoping that makes sense to you guys. So like we follow FDA standards, but we are not FDA approved because of our patented ingredients. The FDA cannot patent, or it cannot approve um, patented ingredients. Um, our ingredients are naturally based ethically sourced so we are sustainable from start to finish guys they're safe they are pure they're sustainable um and we do have fragrances and preservatives but they are not the same ones that are in drugstore products they are very natural um fragrances and preservatives so like i'll give you an example lavender or gardenia oil like that's super safe super pure so those are our fragrances as opposed to like the synthetic like cherry bomb blossom or whatever. Hair anatomy. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to go a little slow because these words are big. Um, but essentially, your hair follicles are these little holes in your scalp, which is connected to a blood supply. These blue and red veins and arteries are your blood supply. So it's very, very important, guys, 
hold on someone's chatting what's happening it's very very important to understand that your hair follicles are alive um they are attached to blood supplies they are bioactive you need blood supply to have nutrients and cell division to stay alive cell division is happening guys so just to give you a background i know a lot of you guys are new to the team um i have been vegan for three and a half years i was vegan for a year and a half before joining the business and i studied like my degrees um for undergrad are in biology and chemistry so like i love the science let me know if you guys get a little lost but um you need blood supply to have cell division and cell division is literally happening in your body at all times because your cells are dying but they're also being replicated. They replicate themselves and they divide and to create new cells so that the old cells can die and like disappear. Hair strands are not bioactive. So your hair follicles are bioactive. They're connected to blood supply, but your hair strands are not. Um, so when people say, oh, if you want to promote hair, get a trim, not really. If you want to promote hair growth you want to start at the scalp because that's where it's alive so that is where our rejuvenique honestly came into play it's much more effective for hair growth and it's honestly the only way to stimulate new hair growth so we have a sebaceous gland which is right here i believe i may be wrong let me see yeah okay so we have the sebaceous gland which is right here and that is where your oil is produced. That is the site of oil production for every follicle. So lots of buildup causes overproduction of oil because your hair is all confused. So when you're using argon oil or Moroccan oil, which is synthetically made in the lab, the molecules are too large to penetrate the scalp. So instead it just sits. It sits on top of your scalp and it causes buildup. And that buildup isn't allowing your scalp to breathe. So think about it this way. I like to think of it as like a Tupperware container that you put your food in. When you wash a Tupperware container and it's still wet, you can't put the lid on it because then it's going to get all that condensation. It's going to smell weird. It's going to start like creating its own liquid inside and it's all gross. That's what's happening when you're gunking up your scalp. You're putting a lid on that buildup of oil and it's just going to cause more overproduction and it's going to suck it's going to be gross your hair is going to be nasty and then you're going to wonder why you have to iron your hair every day you're going to wonder why you always have to go to the salon and do keratin treatments you're going to wonder why you're shedding so much or why you're not shedding and your hair feels so heavy and so unhealthy um so the sebaceous gland is a huge part of the anatomy and then we have this little guy here, which I'm totally saying this wrong, but the erector pili muscle. And this gives your hair volume. When this muscle contracts, it boosts your hair follicles up and provides that volume. So our products like our dry shampoo, like our reshape root lifter, anything that says it's adding volume, it's targeting this muscle. And why does it target this muscle? Because the molecules are small enough to be penetrated. So if you're using a drugstore shampoo that says it's for volume, but it has argan oil or Moroccan oil or coconut oil without anything else, it's not going to give you volume because it's not going to be able to seep into the erector pili muscle. It's going to be sitting on the top. It's going to be still sitting here on the surface of your scalp. It's not going to be able to go down here. So that is why our rejuvenique oil is so important. It is the molecular structure. It is so small. So we're going to keep going into this, but this is seriously my favorite. I love the hair anatomy because you can't deny science. You can't say no to science. So then we have the phases of the hair cycle. We have the first phase is the antigen phase. And this is where your hair, when your hair is growing. When, and that means that the hair follicle is actually attached to the blood supply. So these veins and these arteries here are actually um, attached to the follicle. And this is where cells are dividing, which is good. Cell division means growth. So cells are dividing, your hair is alive, and it's growing long. Then we enter the catagen phase, and this is where the hair 
starts to detach from the hair follicle. So you can see here that the hair follicle is really thick, has a strong bond. And then here, the bond gets weaker. It's detaching. But it hasn't fallen off just yet. It's in the process. And that's important because when you do have the overproduction of oil because your um, scalp is clogged from the Moroccan oil, from the argon oil, whatever it may be, the synthetic waxes and silicones, it's going to make it very hard for the hair um, follicle or the hair strand to go from the catagen to the telogen phase. It's going to be very difficult once it, it weakens that bond to actually detach. It's hard because there's so much gunk covering it up. Think of the Tupperware, right? There's so much gunk holding it in, so much pressure holding it down that even though it wants to be released, it cannot. So that is why sometimes people um, experience a detox shedding with our products. It's because as the rejuvenic oil is removing and uh, that buildup, all the hairs that were in the catagen phase that could not move on to the telogen phase are now finally able to shed. Um, so that is a huge reason for the detox. And then the telogen phase is where your hair actually falls out. You can see here that there is no hair follicle um, that it's attached to. And um, you should be naturally shedding 50 to 100 hairs a day. Um, and with our products, you may proper, be properly shedding for the first time in years. And actually, something I forgot to mention... Well, I'll mention it later. I'll say it now so I don't forget. Um, a, like a sign for you to kind of tell if you are low in protein is if your hair is always tangled. Very tangled hair needs protein. And that's something that our rejuvenic oil also delivers. So just a fun fact. Sorry, really quick, Alex. One of my um, market partners has been trying to get on, but she has to be approved. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I just added her. Okay. I also like need to blow my nose. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. really bad allergies in the spring because just like the hair cycle everything happens in cycles and spring is my least favorite time <laughs> um okay our patented ingredients guys so you've already heard me talk about the rejuvenic oil quite a bit since we started but it is a blend of 13 natural plant and essential oils and these blends are clinically proven to be molecularly small enough to penetrate the scalp. So it's not like, oh, some of the oils are small enough, but the others aren't. No, all 13 are clinically proven to be small enough to penetrate the scalp, to actually be um, like welcomed by the scalp, which I'll explain in a little bit, but you know, the scalp doesn't let everything absorb into it. So these are actually like very welcomed. The scalp um, encourages for them to seep on in. Um, so then they're also rich in omega fatty acids, antioxidants, and nutrients that are highly compatible. So that's what I meant when I was saying it's more welcomed. It's highly compatible with skin and hair. Um, so honestly, I have a lot of notes on the rejuvenic oil, so I'm gonna try and make it quick. So let me see. Um, but yeah, it has vitamins, minerals, it has beta keratin. So we do have keratin in our products, but it's plant-based keratin. So alpha keratin is animal keratin. It's animal-based. And beta keratin is um, plant-based. And so that's the keratin that we have in our products. We also have omega-6 fatty acids, antioxidants, which everyone, it's like a buzzword. Everyone's always like antioxidants, omega acids, or omega fatty acids. Oh my God. like it's a buzzword. That's because you shouldn't just be ingesting it. You should also be putting it on yourself. Um, and so these ingredients have been proven to mimic the body's um, own natural oils to reduce the hair thinning, to prevent oxidative stress, and to add the volume and the shine. 
Um, they're supposed to energize and rehabilitate the scalp to create that healthy environment, an environment where your hair is going to uh, flourish, I guess, or prosper. And, um, you know, this, our products target instant repair and long-term repair. So that's also important to mention, like, yes, you will notice a one wash difference most of the time, but it's not supposed to be an instant fix. You know, it's not like you just microwave your hair for 30 seconds and all of a sudden it's amazing and all the damage is gone. No, it's a process. It's a treatment. It is long term and it is age prevention as well. Uh, remember, our products are anti-aging because of the rejuvenique oil. And the main ingredient in the rejuvenic oil that makes it like so, so, so amazing is the Abyssin, Abyssinian oil. Um, it comes from Abyssinica plant, which is in um, East Africa and the Mediterranean. And um, it's just proven like over hundreds of years, it's proven to improve the skin's complexion and the hair's luster because it has unique omega-9 fatty acids. So our product is already infused with omega-6 fatty acids. It also has omega-9 fatty acids, um, which has a bunch of like acids that I'm not even going to name because they're so hard to pronounce. Um, okay, so then this is what I was, I wanted to talk about too. So the absorption, how I was saying that you know, things need to be compatible with the skin in order to be absorbed. So the skin is very selective of what can go into it. So I want you guys to think about it like this. You have your arm, right? When it rains, does the water just like disappear into your skin? No, right? It beads up and you have beads of water on here. That's because your skin is tough. It is a barrier. It is the largest organ on your body and it is meant to protect you. It is meant to keep out what should not be in there and it's meant to absorb what needs to be absorbed. So water is just going to sit on the surface of your skin like little beadlets. Um, but when you have the rejuvenique oil, because it's so small, it's actually being absorbed, right? Um, and so the same thing goes for your scalp. Your scalp is an extension of your skin. It is still part of your skin. It's still part of your organ, but it absorbs 70 times faster than the rest of your skin. And the hair follicles are attached to bloodstream. Like guys, that is so huge. Like your hair follicle is alive. It does age. You know, so like saying anti-aging hair care, that's not just some bougie, like rich people crap. It is real science and we have made it affordable for others and like accessible to others because that was a huge thing for me as a vegan. I could never find accessible products that were vegan and worked. Like they just didn't exist. Um, so this is amazing. Um and so your skin is hydrophobic and that's why we have for our skincare products the hyaluronic acid because it is a water magnet. It has the capability of absorbing, absorbing a thousand times its water weight. So that's another reason that the hyaluronic acid in our skincare line is so important. But we're going to be doing skincare training a whole nother day similar to a boot camp like this. So I'm not going to cover it. Today is predominantly hair care. Um, but so then the last thing I wanted to mention, which the next couple slides has a really scary picture, but so um, when the Moroccan oil and the Argon oil, since I, you know, they're going to be beadlets, they're going to be staying on top of the scalp, it can be absorbed. It's going to still give the illusion that your hair is soft and shiny um, because of course it's not your actual hair that's soft and shiny. It's the silicones and the waxes and the plastic that's shiny. And giving you this illusion. Um, okay, I don't know how to do this. Hold on. Sorry. E This isn't working for me.
Okay, I give up. <laughs> that was so hard. Okay, Capixel. Uh, Capixel is a blend that is meant to strengthen and thicken your hair to promote natural hair growth. Um, it is powered by red clover leaf extract, um, which is known to stimulate hair growth. Um, it decreases the hair loss and also, so like it's going to decrease your hair loss. So it's going to keep the hairs that need to be there, but then it's also going to promote new hair growth. Um, and the reason that it works so well is it's a phytoestrogen and estrogen plays a huge role in the hair cycle. We have estrogen receptors in our hair bulb. So um, it has pictures here of the uh, estrogen receptors and that little graph. But think about it like this way, postpartum hair loss. That is huge. I see that in so many of my clients. And that's because postpartum hair loss is affected by the fluctuation of estrogen that you have when your hormones are changing during pregnancy and after pregnancy. Um, red clover extract has hundreds of uses. It's known top, uh, for topical applications and also orally, like you can drink a tea for it. Um, and it's meant to uh, strengthen and thicken your hair while supporting natural hair growth. And it also combats um, DHT, which DHT is a female, uh, not a female, a male hormone, an androgen, that causes hair loss. Um, DHT is associated with like chest hair or beard hair or regular hair, um, like hair on your scalp. And so male, males that have like early thinning, early balding, it's because of their DHT hormones. So Capixel is going to inhibit those receptors so that it's not activated, so that the DHT and the phytoestrogen that play a role in the thinning are not, um, I guess, aggravated. You know, it stops it in its tracks. Okay, then we have two more of our patented ingredients that are absolutely amazing. These are my favorite. So we have Procatalin, which is a pea extract, which is a plant-based protein. And it's a natural blend of antioxidants that help protect and promote healthier hair follicles to combat premature thinning while protecting color and shine. Color and shine is so easy to damage. So I love that this does this. Um, and it promotes hair growth and it has the antioxidants and antioxidants like everyone's always talking about them um like everyone knows you need to get antioxidants eat blueberries and all that stuff but no one knows why and it's because of their strengthening properties um so it's going to maintain a healthy hair environment for the hair to grow in it helps preserve the follicle so it helps keep the follicle strong and safe it aims in, which is going to aid in the prevention of hair loss. It also is going to protect against environmental damage. So not only are we outside in the sun, but there's just air pollutants in general. And we have environmental damage when someone starts twirling your hair in class or someone starts braiding your hair and doing, putting all these rubber bands, like that is environmental damage. Um, and it's also going to protect the natural pigmentation of your follicle. Um, We also have um, plant stem cells in here in our products. And plant stem cells basically are cells that can divide into anything necessary, whether it's hair or skin. And then it'll continue to replicate itself. So it's so important that we have this because, like I mentioned to you guys in the beginning, cell division is everything. Cell division is good, it means you're growing. Um, and so when you get these stem cells, and you're on your scalp and they're like, oh man, like what? Do, maybe we need some more follicles over here or whatever. Those stem cells can go and open those follicles that had been previously dormant. Because remember, we have active follicles and dormant follicles. Active follicles are connected to the bloodstream and dormant follicles are not. They have been gunked up so much that after the hair follicle was shedded in the telogen phase, it never went back to the antigen phase. Because remember, everything is in cycles. But sometimes the cycle ends and is disrupted or is dormant because of all the gunk that is on your scalp. Um, and then antioxidants, why are they so important? 
Um, so antioxidants pick up free radicals and free radicals are basically like these, they're like half of cells. They're like not real cells. Um, and basically they consume things that you need. So if the antioxidants can like trap those free radicals from taking the nutrients that you need, it's going to allow those nutrients to go to your hair follicle, go and to the sebaceous gland, to the erector pili muscle and do what it's supposed to do. So um, it's good that you stop these free radicals from picking up those electrons and those nutrients so that it doesn't get in the way of the natural processes of your body. Um, so the more antioxidants you have, the less free radicals you have, pretty basic. And then we have crotozorb. So crotozorb is an ingredient that protects against UV rays. It is your sunscreen for your hair, um, which is obviously gonna also protect the natural pigmentation, but it's also gonna keep them strong and protected. Your, your hair is an extension of your skin, right? Because the follicle, is attached to the bloodstream, which is attached to the scalp, which is attached to the skin. So everyone knows what skin cancer is, right? Everyone's afraid of skin cancer. Everyone knows that you need to protect yourself from UV rays, but why? UV rays can damage your DNA. Every single cell in your body, including the cells on your scalp, have DNA contained with them. And UV rays, can completely damage it. And that's what leads to tumors, that's what leads to disease, and that's what leads to, honestly, just an unhealthy life, which is really unfortunate. And it stinks because we're not all educated on the, on the dangers of UV rays. I know myself, I've always wiped my butt with sunscreen. I never cared about sunscreen. And once I was educated, I got on it real quick. Um, so crotozorb, it is going to absorb those UV rays and it's going to protect the natural coloring. Um, and it even works on gray hair too, which is a question that we do get a lot. Um, but there's two types of UV rays. There's UVB and UVA. Crotozorb absorbs both UV rays, which is crazy because I've actually read some sunscreens only like protect you from one sort of UV ray, which is dumb. Like they don't even tell you that. Like I wish they would say part one of part two, like <laughs> buy this sunscreen and this sunscreen because we're not covering you for both. But no company is that transparent, only Monate. Um, and so Basically, the wavelength, so here it is, the wavelength of the rays can damage the UV and can damage the DNA within your cells. So you want to put these products on. So like our Restore Leave-In Conditioner and our Unknot Detangler both have protozorb in it. You want to put that on your hair and on your scalp, especially if you're in the sun, but you should honestly be putting it daily so that you can have that shield that essentially it's going to bounce the rays back off. They're going to hit this and go boop and reflect right back off and boomerang out of there. So huge, huge, huge. Then we have Fiber Rescue, which um, it's a plant-based lipo, lipoprotein that can penetrate, excuse me, can penetrate the cortex to target damage at a microscopic level. So essentially what it's gonna do is rescue each strand from root to end and give it the health it needs while providing manageability back to your hair. So essentially what that means is when you're here at the hair follicle, once it's detached, you want to be in this early antigen phase. You want to, you know, start growing a new hair follicle or a new hair strand that's going to connect to the hair follicle, right? So once you shed this, you want the fiber rescue to help in aiding the antigen phase so that you know you have really strong production and that it's going to, um, at a microscopic level, be promoting that health that we talk about in the hair follicle. I'm gonna take a sip break. Now this is amazing, guys. Like my jaw dropped when I learned this. Um, we use reverse osmosis 
in our products to filter the water. So all of our products have filtered water. I'm sure you've heard of like shower heads that you can buy that filter out harsh chemicals and harsh ions. That's because um, hard water is charged with ions and like a, it's not uncommon. Like this is very, very common. A lot of us drink it in tap water. But these ions like calcium and stuff like that, they're very large and they're very tough. And it's what leads to brassiness in like your coloration or what leads for you losing your color in the shower for redheads, blondes, platinums. Um, and so what the reverse osmosis does is it takes out all of those charged ions like potassium, sodium, calcium, stuff like that. Um, and it's gonna remove it from the water. So you can see here kind of this demonstration that reverse osmosis uses pressure to like filter through the contaminants. So then you're left with lower contamination in the water. And this is literally quality control at its finest because so as I was mentioning, we've all heard of shower heads that like filter the water from the charged ions. But what happens if you spend $3,000 on a shower filter, but then you're still using products that have water with charged ions? Like that makes no sense. And what's crazy is that these charged ions can actually react in the bottle with other ingredients. So they're highly reactive. So the product that you get at the sign of production, at the site of production is not going to be the same product six months from now when it's on the shelf of CVS because it's had six months to react with all the ingredients. So that's another reason why drugstore products, aside from using industrial grade ingredients and not filtering their water, like they just don't perform because they're not made well. They're not quality products. Um, and so 60 to 80% of most products are water-based. So the type of water that you put in is highly important. Um, and so these contaminants, you know, aside from the, the charged ions, like the calcium, sodium, potassium I was mentioning, you also just have heavy metals like pest and pesticides that are found in the water. Um, because remember, a lot of our water, like hard water, it's been like running down streams of rocks and in you know fields so it can pick up pesticides herbicides very easily and never be filtered out never even be considered um and hard water is what because i was mentioning that the hard water all those charged ions react with ingredients in the products that's another reason drugstore products have so much preservatives and such harsh preservatives because they need to because of the water in the products it's 60 to 80 percent water and so it's messing with um you know the the integrity of the product um so when you're using reverse osmosis water you don't need you can use like a minimal amount of preservatives because you are maintaining that integrity Okay, so Monet says no. We see this all the time, no parabens, no sulfates, no ethanol, but what does that mean? I found this awesome infographic that explains this. So like parabens are linked to chronic disorders, sulfates irritate the scalp, DEA and MEA can be irritating to the skin and eyes and be linked to chronic disorders. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have super super sensitive eyes like super super sensitive eyes i talk about it all the time with our makeup remover that like i love it because i have such sensitive eyes same with shampoo and conditioners when i was in the shower i literally used to get out and my eyes would be bloodshot like it was creepy and i can't believe i thought it was normal my whole life i thought it was normal i would get out of the shower and my eyes would be bloodshot they would get so irritated by the shampoo and conditioner i would use and I was a very low maintenance girl before Monet. Like I use shampoo and conditioner, that's it. I never used dry shampoo, never used a smoothing serum, like never used a hair mask in my life until Monet. Um, I don't even own foundation. Like I'm not a girly girl, guys. I was using Herbal Essence shampoo and conditioner for like 10 years. It used to irritate my eyes so much that they would be bloodshot, they would hurt. I would wanna close them. I would literally like put pressure on them because I just didn't even know what to do. And once I switched to 
Monet, I was like, oh my gosh, it was the DEA and the MEA and the products for sure that were irritating my eyes. And now I can take a shower and it's like pleasant, go figure, like something that should be so easy and so simple, um, all because of the ingredients. And so I'm not going to go through all of these because you guys are going to have access to the PowerPoint and this is on our Monate website, but I just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, so another thing is the harsh salts is what causes the dryness. But so I want to go into a few of them a little further so that you can really talk about them to your audience. So the first is parabens. These are very, very, very common preservatives. They're in shampoos, they're in moisturizers, they're in makeups, um, but it's an unconfirmed endocrine receptor. Your endocrine system is literally in charge of everything. If your endocrine system is disrupted, you're probably dying. Well, like we're all dying every minute of the day, but like you're legitimately in the process of dying if your endocrine system is messed up. So the fact that it's like can be a disruptor is super alarming and the fact that it's unconfirmed just goes to show that like they don't want to do the research so they're just leaving it all there which i can't stand um but they can cause a number of problems for you including hair loss drying out your scalp irritating your scalp fading your color um and sulfate also is like associated with parabens it's an ingredient that causes shampoos to lather so that is why we lather twice because we don't have sulfates and that's why we need to emulsify our products in our hands to get that lather because we don't have sulfates. So yes, it's a little bit of an extra step, but it's for your health and I promise it'll save you more time than, you know, God forbid you get skin cancer, get geoblastoma tumor and, you know, then you have to spend a bunch of time at doctor's appointments, a bunch of time picking out wigs because you lost your hair and all that stuff. So take two seconds to lather your stuff so that you don't have to use sulfates, okay guys? It's all about perspective. Um, and then we have phthalates, which these are proven, like not rumored, proven to decrease male fertility. And it's also linked to breast cancer, decreased immune function, and linked to metabolic disorders. Early exposure can lead to all of the above. We are washing our hair since children, guys, with something that causes male fertility, infertility, breast cancer. I personally, in my family, have five cases of breast cancer, like in my immediate family. So what this makes me think is literally like, I wanna look into all the products my grandfather, my aunt, my other aunt, my cousin, everyone was using because what the heck like how is this something that's allowed in our products um and they're usually used to like um as a plastic so plastic it can be in a liquid or a solid form and it's very transparent it's very durable um so it's used to like increase like the smoothie and creaminess of the product so it's not very necessary um to say the least and also, they're used primarily to soften polyvinyl chloride. For those of you who don't know what polyvinyl chloride is, this, this is polyvinyl chloride, a record. We are putting this in our scalp. Tell me how this makes sense. Like what? Seeing this as a disc and thinking about it in my breast is like, I'm like, well, no sh crap, we have breast cancer because of these products. Like, what? I'm like dumbfounded. So that was Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. For anyone interested. And we're almost at our break, guys. So keep it i'm gonna keep it going we're almost at our break okay these two are crazier than the last two guys phenoxoethanol this is one of the most common preservatives in makeup body washes and skincare products i'm gonna repeat that body washes because a lot of people wash their private parts with body washes and listen to the next bullet point 
Human cadavers are preserved with phenyloxoethanol. Dead bodies are preserved for years, for months with this preservative. And it's so strong that if you are pregnant, I worked in, right, I studied biology and chemistry, guys, right? If you are going into a lab with phenyloxoethanol and you are pregnant or trying to become pregnant, they will not let you in. And you're allowing pregnant women to put this on their scalp? Like, tell me how that makes any sense. Tell me how that makes any sense. Um, it messes with your cell division and cell growth. So it's linked to fetus issues because I remember if your cells are not dividing, nothing's happening in the body. You're not living. If your cells are not dividing, you are not living correctly. Um, and it's a known carcinogen. Like it is proven to cause cancer. And we're putting this in our bodies. We're putting it by our hoo-hahs. I'm shocked. I'm disturbed. I am so grateful for this company. Um, and then we have cyclic silicone. So I put this nice picture of nature because it was really grossing me out to think about all the nasty stuff. So I, I put this nice picture from the naturally based products because then check out this that I'm going to talk about now. So cyclic si silicones are essentially greasy lubricants we put on cars. So this is a car lubricant. And so this is what you're putting on your hair. So remember I told you that you can get the illusion that your hair is soft and shiny and, you know, not tangled. It's an illusion because, of course, I mean, you can be the girliest girl in the world, but I'm sure you've touched that or felt that or seen it, and you guys know how creamy and slimy it is. That's what you're putting on your hair. Your hair is not actually shiny. It's just this shine. You can see the shine in the photo. It's not actually soft and, un and detangled. It just literally has plastic in it. It has silicones in it. And that can be lead to decreased cellular function and decreased metabolism. Um, so like, um, it's just mind blowing. Um, and again, it sits on the top of your scalp. So it's clogging your pores, it's clogging your bloodstream. It's nasty, guys. Say no to cyclic silicones. Okay, so we got two more slides before our break. So hair loss. The first question when someone mentions hair loss that you want to actually ask is, is it hair loss from the roots? Because it's, if it's from the roots, it's hair loss. But if it's breakage, which is the most common in women, then that's a completely different talk track, right? Um, so the most common form of hair loss, like actual hair loss, is alopecia areata, which is very dramatic, but it is reversible because then there's other, also like a, a frontal lobe alopecia, which is not reversible. I forgot the name of it, though. Um, timing of the shedding is huge as well. So let's say a VIP starts using the products this week and it's like, oh my God, I'm shedding like crazy. Well, don't worry, have no fear. It's not the Monate products because shedding usually take, is triggered four to five months prior to the actual shedding. So let's say you have a family member pass away in January. You're not going to lose your hair until March to May, March, April, or May. So there's a, de a delay right? And it's all because of those cycles I was telling you guys about. It needs time for those cycles to play out. Um, and also, it like leads to the question, is there new hair growth coming out? Because remember back when we go to these phases, once you release the hair follicle and it sheds in the telogen phase, you have the early antigen phase before the antigen phase. So you know, not only is it actual hair loss, but is it growing back? Is new hair growing? Um, and scalp health is most important. That's the only way for new hair growth. So like I mentioned, those rejuvenique oil treatments and stuff like that. And your diet. Your diet um, and hormone changes and stress management are huge contributors to excessive hair shedding. Like I mentioned before, it is normal to shed 50 to 100 hairs a day, but anything other than that, it's 
You want to take a look at your diet, your hormone changes, and your stress management. Um, nutritional deficiencies that cause hair loss is typically protein deficiency, iron deficiency, vitamin D, and calcium. Um, hormonal changes can also um, cause this. So like hormonal changes after giving birth, um, going through menopause, switching your birth control. I don't know if you guys remember, I had a VIP who started losing a ton of hair after switching her birth control, but after two months, it like went back to normal. Um, and she like trusted me. She's a nurse. So when I explained it to her that it was probably her birth control and the hormones, she's like, that makes perfect sense, blah, blah, blah. So you want to have these conversations with people. Are you going through menopause? Did you just have a child? Are you pregnant? Did you switch your birth control? Did you stop taking your birth control? Questions like that. Um, also, medical conditions can cause hair loss, like thyroid disease, diabetes, lupus, anemia. Um, you know, getting a gastro bypass surgery can also cause um, hair loss. Excessively pulling your hair. So putting your hair in a tight ponytail. I'm sure you guys have all had like that teacher in elementary school that always just wore a slick back ponytail or always just wore a slick back bun. That's giving you, you're essentially putting stress on the hair follicle. Imagine your hair follicle is like a leg and you're just kicking your knee and kicking your knee and kicking your knee and kicking your knee day after day after day, kicking your knee, kicking your knee. Your knee is going to snap one day, and that is called breakage. So when you're constantly pulling and putting a rubber band and brushing and combing and twisting and whatever, day after day after day into the same exact hairstyles, you're going to cause breakage. It's just like an arm. It's just like a leg. It's just like a tree trunk that you're hitting and axing away. Um, Excessive application to chemicals like perms, bleaches, dyes, stuff like that. Um, and about 40% of women experience hair loss in America. I thought that was interesting. And then, of course, I, hear, I have here just the Academy, American Academy of Dermatologists, what they say is like some of the stressors for hair loss as well. I'll let you guys read through that. Okay, and so this is the last slide before we go on our break. I'm going to do like a 15-minute break. Um, but so what does Monet actually do to your hair? When you are born, your hair is virgin hair, right? And as you get older, you're using styling products. Hold on, I think someone's trying to enter. Okay, so you're using styling products, you're using rubber bands, you're styling it all kinds of ways, like I just mentioned, the pooling and the rubbing and whatever. You're using hairspray, gel, dry shampoo that's full of chemicals. You play outside and you get, to get UV rays. You're outside in general, which has air pollutants. You dye it, you bleach it, you use heat tools. So then, because of all of that, years and years of that, your hair gets damaged and you go to the drugstore and you buy some products. But those products are filled with silicones, sulfates, parabens, and waxes that are not specialized for the scalp. Remember, the scalp needs ingredients that are compatible with it, and these are not. So it gives you the illusion that your hair is shiny and silky smooth, but it's not. It's just plastic in your hair. It's literally this plastic in your hair, which like, oh, I can feel that. I can feel the lubricant and it's so nasty. Ugh, I can't. And then you're laminating that onto your hair. Every time you're applying heat tools, ironing it, curling it, blow drying it, you are laminating that silicone onto your hair strands. And so that's where, you know, you start to get hair shedding or super oily scalp or super dry scalp, dandruff, itching. You feel like your hair can't grow past your shoulders because literally there is no hair growth from the follicle. So when you use our products that have the rejuvenic oil and all that stuff, it's going to heal your hair. And your hair is going to be your actual hair. So you're gonna notice that you're not shedding so much. 
and your hair is not as oily and you don't have to wash it so often. And your hair, you're going to go longer between haircuts. You're going to go longer between hair dyes because your color is going to last longer because our water is filtered and all that good stuff. Um, you're not going to have as much breakage during styling and activities. And I mean, you want to think of your hair journey kind of like with acrylic nails or gel nails. You know, when you get gel nails removed, your nails look like crap. And then you have to start putting special nail polish. You start wearing gloves while doing the dishes. You start doing all these precautionary measures and proactive measures to get your nails back to their original health. And that's essentially what we're doing with Rejuvenique. It's a process. You just had acrylic all over your hair for decades, for years. Now we need to treat your hair with some TLC, some tender love and care and Rejuvenique oil to get it back to normal. And so you want to be gentle with it so that it can regrow and strengthen. So that is it for now. We covered who is Monet and the science. And we're gonna take a 15 minute break. And when we come back, we're gonna cover social media tips, organization hacks, back office training, and daily actions you can take to the road to SED. So use the bathroom, grab a snack, refill your drink, um, check on your kids, check on your dog,